All right, now that we have finished our survey, we can review our waveforms by going to F3 on the keyboard or clicking this seismograms button in orange. This will bring up all the surveys I've done in the past. So we did test video one and test video two. Select both of them and go open. This will bring them up side by side. Um, from here, we can do a, a few things. We can zoom to view the waveforms more closer. We can set offsets, shift the waveforms, invert the uh, invert the waveforms. We can also say if we did a, a linear mass loss survey, we can set these numerical values up here to to whatever we had in the field. So say we did. We did a linear survey with the geophone space two meters apart. Sorry, let's say four meters apart. Then we can go to File, Properties, and input those numbers under X. So let's say we did the initial shot two meters away from the first geophone, and the geophone spaced out at four meters after that. So OK. So notice that changed the numbers. Let's say for this one, we moved the initiation shot just four meters, two meters back from our previous states. So now we're four meters from the first one. And they're still spaced at four meters apart from each other. Okay. So we can just exit that to save. Now what we can do is we can select the two waveforms, go to arrange and interlace. This will create a new file, which we'll call combined video. And we can open that new file. Now we have eight geophones spaced at two meters apart from each other. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So lastly, if we wanted to use now this combined video interlace, uh, we wanted to do some post-processing in Geopsy, um, Doremi automatically saves files as .dmr. DRM and Geopsy does not support that file, so we can convert, select file, go to convert, and we have a couple options. The two that work for Geopsy are seg2 and segy, so let's go convert to seg2. It's going to change the name, combine video underscore seg2 dot dat. Hit OK, and that creates a new file that we can use in Geopsy.